Complain to the referee, Ghana will equally do the same because they will believe that they had a penalty appeal denied. And referee Jerry Eke would also be having issues to deal with. But this goalkeeper saved the day for Benin with a wonderful strike from Emmanuel Asante. He did well to parry that one away. Nice move there. Expecting more. I enjoyed the football in the first half. Good play. And I hope. You know, it will continue like that. Not a disappointing, you know, football we've seen so far. The first 45 minutes and more has been great. And, that's, and these fans will be hoping for more. And the Black Stars will be walking to the dressing room for some tutorials from their coach, Maxwell Kunodu. At halftime, Benny Nail, Ghana Nail. And what drama are we witnessing here in this particular game again between... Benin and Ghana, Yaya Mohamed has been the bulldozer for Ghana, but Rob Duran would always stop him. And there you go, Kamenei Dusei and Rob Duran, you mentioned about his inputs in the middle of the pack. Very solid, waiting for another 45 minutes of entertaining football. I enjoyed it in the first half. And there we start the second half with the... Black Stars now defending from right to left with uh, Benin moving from left to right. And yeah, Mohamed once again. I think of first, it turns well from Rock Duran. Well, you probably were looking at the runs of Yah Mohamed and compare him to Belgium star Lukaku. But on the far left, there's nobody waiting for this one in the middle. And Fadel was trying to outwit uh, Godfrey Saka at that point. We had a uh, Black Stars waiting patiently for the call from the referee. Uh, big innocent clearance. And now, Mohamed Abdul Basit. And he fails to get the ball out. Jean Oguchi here. And play will be halted because Kabine Dusei, when he attempted to stop uh, Fadel Swanon, he picked up an injury in the process. And so. And he needs to be attended to. Remember that he missed the last league game for Kumasi Asante Kotoko because of injury. That was in that win, 3-1 win over King Faisal here on this pitch. Just because he wanted to stay fit to play in this Wafu tournament. And uh, it's been uh, a very strong player in defense. His partner, Apeku Enusin, in defense for Kumasiya Santiago de Go in the Premier League here in Ghana. Uh, they played together for a long time, and so they actually know each other and they know when to cover it or cover up for each other. So it's no surprising that Maxwell Kunedu decided to pair them together in the Wafa competition. You know, and also in parenthesis to that, Kotoko are on top of the league table. And they have as many as um, seven players, you know, playing, uh, being selected in the that 25-man squad named by the technical team. And on the pitch now, they have four players in the starting lineup. Yeah, Mohamed Jordan Opoku is captain Abeku Enesin, who's gone in for the header. And Kabine Dusei, there's Mike Lakufu on the bench as well. Captain Lazari. Gianni uh, Nice closing down there from Jordan Opoku and Latif Mohamed. That's yeah, Mohamed trying to tear away from Salomon Jr. And he gets a throw in for Ghana. Experience Salomon Jr. Manuel Asante. And yeah, Mohamed. He knows that he was in offside position. And that's a corner kick for Ghana. But Rock Duran, Basset had to foul Rock Duran in the process. And that's Mohamed Abdul Basset. And you can see, yes, there was a bit of contact there. Instead of kicking the ball, he kicked the foot of Basset. On a kick ticket, and cleared away by Salomon Jr. Still Ghana going that strong here. And that's another 
heart tackle coming through from Latif Mohammed and he gets a yellow card for that. That was, you know, Seneca one indeed. A strong one on Jean Ogochu. Latif Mohammed will be yellow carded. Abdul Latif Mohammed, he plays for goal. Ashanti Gold. And that was a late challenge there. And caught Jen Ogochi late. That's the lanky holding midfielder for Benin. Uh, for that, Jian Ogochi. He's one player who is, has been converted from a defender to a holding midfielder. And he plays his club football for Avranku Omni Sport in Benin. And they are this touch, trying to explain some issues to his technical crew. Fadel here, a big witness is Clarence. Nicely done there by Abeku Anderson, the big centre back for Kumasi Asante Koroko. A lot of chances fell the way of uh, both class of both teams in the uh, first half. And uh, Ghana having a lot of it. Ball headed back, Kamene Dusay to his goalkeeper, Fuli Adade. And we're just picking news from the dugouts that early substitution will be coming in from Ghana. Sule Mohamed is likely to come on or should be coming on any moment from now. from Emmanuel Asante. And so once again you have the Black Stars trying to get the balls back in and also Jackson gets the upper hand here. Rob Duran, it's not really giving Yah Mohammed a chance and space at all. No, they, they are equal in terms of strength. And you can see that they're slagging it out. They're spinning here. Oh, nicely done. Fajal, with lots of space, just the middle there. Brought down, and yeah, yes, that's a free kick. That's um, absolutely a free kick. That was a late challenge on him. That was the tackle. Emmanuel Asante, the left back. Drifting into the middle to assist. But nice opportunity. It looks like a straightforward, you know, attempt. With a straightforward attempt, you can easily beat the goalkeeper. And already, you have the likes of Daryl Sosa behind the ball. There's also Cedric Correa, Jean Ogochi. That's the man in your picture. So there you have the free kick here to Benin. Garel is behind the ball together. With and there's a chance straight to Folia Daddy. He did well to you know, smooth for that. He couldn't do it on the first time. But Man then was Santi. quick. And there's another clumsy challenger from Jean Gucci. Mala Santi quickly takes the uh, throw in. Mohamed Abdul Basit and ball played away by Laza Lazadi. Luis Enrique to Garel. Godfrey Saka. Now Ghana trying to put the ball down. Uh, 
Yeah, Mohamed has been caught for shit target. No, he's been doing that. And that will be his last kick of the ball, yeah, Mohamed. He will soon be substituted. Following some interesting development at the dugout because Suley Mohamed, the man who came on to replace him, got a goal against Sierra Leone. And there you have him, Suley Mohamed. You know, but I think uh, the Ghana team are not doing yeah, Mohamed any good at all, playing him on top of the attack. That's not what he's noted for. I, I, I'm talking about flourishing at, but he's done well trying to keep the pace up front. And Suley Mohamed, the top scorer in the Ghana Premier League now after 12 matches with five goals, has another opportunity to tell us that, yes, he's really on top form. So we have a, a real substitution here for Ghana. And uh, they will lose possession here. Just about 10 minutes gone. And we have the Black Stars beginning to find a lot of spaces. Suley Mohamed will go into this challenge with Rock Duran. And Garel was equally trying to pick up his man. So after 10 minutes in the second half, it's Benin nil, Ghana nil. Yes, yeah, still Ghana searching for the goal. Benin also doing their bit. You know, it's been lovely exchanges. And Jadiel and Imanla Santi fighting for it. And Jadiel will fight Imanla Santi. That was a, a real chance and a good run from Jadiel. Imanla Santi covered quickly. And that's it, the run. And you can realize that there was a lot of shit targeting over there. That's uh, from the club African man, Jadot Dosu. And that's the Mohamed cooling down. He's done his job well. Yeah, he did well. Mala Santi. Gianni Gucci. Shadiel on the right side. Wayward, wayward pass, wayward pass, and this man is disappointed. Judo Dusu, the right winger, was expecting the ball in front of him, not at the back, not behind him. Sula Mohamed, his first yeah. touch on the ball. Nicely done. Nice oh, control there, Sule. Sula Mohamed, he also has a strength like Yah Mohamed. And he can just weave his way through the defense of Benin. And he gets the free kick here. Uh, if we're utilized, the Black Stars can get a win here. There you have it. Nice control. There was pressure coming on him. And then that was when he was shoved off the ball. Godfrey Saka, the right footed free kick here. Ball swung and got Fred Saka's ball and he's been headed out. But it's been a jack to have been fouled. A big win is going in for the goal. The centre back but put a lot of pressure on goalkeeper Satonin Alakbe. You know, he pulled you know, a great save in the first half that denied Emmanuel Asante the opener. To Ghana, Manila Santi is true. Now, we're trying to realize that the local Black Stars team would have Lucy Jackson very quiet on the day. Manila Santi was just trying to make sure they get the ball straight, but uh, Latif Mohammed was late in arriving. Now, the second half is seen the slow start of uh, both teams. With the Black Star trying to as much as possible get the balls going. Benin yes. and Ghana possessive play to encouraging though. In the second half, goal attempts, Ghana still having 14 with four to Benin. And Stone, none of them being able to find the back of the net. And Judeo here. Garel. Uh, nicely done in defense. Pure Flossanoba. Get the action going for Ghana. 
drops it to the left side. It's Latif Mohamed, just like he did against Sierra Leone. He's going to go in this possession again. You have to give credit to this man, Salomon Junior. He did well to cover up and then go in with a sliding challenge. Oh, it's Jackson's ball. Oh, nicely done by Jonah Poku. Goalkeeper is committed. And the referee again would adjust that to be a legal challenge. Guerrero will win it. The offensive number is down. But play will continue. Benin. Jean Gucci's ball down the right side. Jodel here. He has the money on to be Jodel. And that wasn't a bad effort at all. Nice play from both attacking and first was the neat through ball inside the area of Benin. And this man, Jodo Dosu, also attempted to score, but he had pressure on him, so he couldn't make the most of that occasion and substitution. Therefore, Ghana, Theophilus Anoba was the one who attempted to score for Ghana. And now, Mohamed Abdul Basid, the Brooklyn Chelsea captain, making way for Michael Akufu, the captain for Marcia Sante Kotoko. Well, so the Black Stars would then have lots of men forward and probably be going for the 4 3 3 information now. We are into the R mark here and it's still Benny Nail Gunnell. Bassett didn't get the best of um, games. You know, this season he's not been the sort of um, inspirational captain he's been for Birkum Chelsea. And so he has to be substituted. Akufu will come in. Look at a chance. nice flick there from Jordan. And then Theophilus, nice play from Ousu Jackson. And then the flick from Jordan. Theophilus arrived late. He had a, a touch on the ball, but just couldn't get the back of the net. Offside. And the flag was up against Fadel. Just as you always see him, Fadel legs around very quietly. He creeps in. And before you realize on the blind side, he gets a goal. Yeah, but today he's been, you know, on a quiet for a very long time. He's on hibernation. He's gone on hibernation. And he can score if you don't watch him carefully. Yeah, you, you still need to keep an eye on, on him. Outside on Latif Mohammed. And you heard the boos coming in from the fans. They are disagreeing with the referee. Jodel here. And Kobner Duse will stand resolute. And Michael Okufu will draw back to get the ball in. Sule Mohamed. He's got some lovely footwork, Sule Mohamed. You hardly don't get strikers. Get that, you know, piece of skills. But Sule looks to be a different, you know, kind. Especially in the Premier League where strikers are extinct. And that was a tackle. It was, you know, a nasty one there from Jordan Opoku. Governor Duse here. Trying to get more men forward. Governor Duse. Slim Mohammed. Solomon Junior. He's always there. And also he is anytime assisted by his pair or his partner. That's um, Rock Duran. And they've been able to shut the store literally at the back. A nice piece of skill there from Godfrey Saka. Trying to get out of trouble. De Gianna right back. Keeping it very simple at the back. Do say, I'm trying to make sure that Mala Santi has well to get the ball back and uh, a big innocent here. Godfrey Saka, Michael Akufu, we can get the ball through to this man up front. 
you know, about to complain about that substitution by pulling up Mohamed Abdul Basit and bringing on Michael Akufo. Akufo, for me, looks uh, too much um, defensive minded and he's paired with Ousu Jackson. I don't know how they can get the balls up front. Akufu. Uh, Benin will aggressively get the ball in. And this man, Darrell, has some pretty nice footworks. And sometimes, again, it blinds the play of uh, some of the midfielders of Ghana, especially so when Osu Jackson needs to get him away from the danger area. Oh, nicely done by Latif Mohamed throwing to Ghana. Trying to spark the engine there, Latif, with his runs and sublime skills. Just uh, showing that the two teams play it tight here. They said they were going to play tight, Benin. They were not going to give Ghana any chance at all to breathe. First half, nail, nail. And they come in the second half with lots of uh, fireworks. De defended very well. And they have more men in midfield. You know, the last game between Ghana and Burkina will even be keenly contested. And uh, it will be Godfrey. more keen in terms of competition. Godfrey Saka. For this free kick, Godfrey Saka's ball in, and uh, too, uh, too far from the man to connect home. That's, you know, poor one from Saka. And there you have the fans here. They are really enjoying themselves this evening. They've tried, you know, <laughs> even though the ghosts are not coming, they're not them, just enjoying themselves in the stands. You know, make yourself happy, that's what they're doing. Uh, ben in there, Ghana now, and this is Sule Mohamed picked the ball with his arm, and so that goes in there as a free kick against Ghana. Yellow card to him. And the referee would do absolutely that, will not compromise at all. Sule Mohamed, desperation, wanting to, to score after 67 minutes. Look at the ball, ding ding, it bounced on the turf, beat him the hand of God this time run he was not smart Slim Mohammed once again Salomon Jr. giving Slim Mohammed the opportunity Slim Mohammed pause the process and once again referee Jerry Yeke a judge that wants to be a legal push on Slim Mohammed just outside the 80 yard box. Yeah, so they did well, power the pressure there. And this is what we're expecting from a center forward. And proving to be a true center forward, but yes, he's got some concerns there. The Ghana bench will have to attend to him. And we'll get to know what happened. A player has been booked on the pitch. And Max Okunedu furious. This was the challenge. Salomon Jr. completely beaten by the pace. Yes, he clipped him. Well, but he, 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 he just had the delayed. advantage. Sule Mohammed had the advantage. He you could know, have gone, but he decided to just dive in the 80-yard box for a penalty. And that is so bad from a center, uh, center forward at this particular posi position. Well, that was a real chance for him to have actually scored for Ghana. You know, if he had you know, dropped when the tackle, you know, came in from Salomon Jr. Then the referee had no option but to whistle. But when he decided to chase for the ball and then go and try his luck and see if he could, have, he could score, that was when the problem came. The referee would no more empathize with you. Remelda, he's touch, head coach of uh, Benin. Well, he's done a good job by working on this uh, young players. Picked them up from the under 20 side of Benin. Groomed them very well. His main target is for the next uh, Nations Cup, and he knows he could do better. And these boys are really responding pretty well to his uh, tactical changes and formation. And 
and uh, they come in to play some quality football beneath. And they have to defend this particular throwing. Jordan Opoku shoved at the ball and Benin will run quick with his ball, Luis Irike. Good show right rather against Ghana. Opeku Anderson was trying to complain to the referee that it wasn't him. And there you have Fadel just working slowly to take his position. Benin have put up a brave fight today. Trying to neutralize Ghana's attack and, you know, threats. And so they've been able to keep the scoreline barren here. But let's wait and see. They still got 20 minutes left on the clock. There's more to play. That seems to be a true foul against Ghana. And with 20 minutes more to go, it's still been in there, Ghana now. Clubs one on Garel, and Akufu knows that he could have done better on that day. Solomon Jr. He's been solid as centre-back today, and Benin are yet to come up with any substitution. It means that Ustaj, the head coach, has got worth of substitution to do. And so if it ain't broken, don't fix it. That's what Ustaj is doing. Says ball in. Now he has to chase that for Jordan Opoku Makarimi class it away. Luis Enrique here. Darrell was trying to pick him out on the left side. Michael Akufu for Ghana. Godfrey Saka. Jackson Owusu. And once again the big center back, Salomon Jr. will give it away. Akufu's ball back to Emmanuel Asante. Well, nicely done here, the Ghana team. And that's it. Mohamed Bourne, Ghana with a chance. Three players clashing against each other. And Benin will clear their runs without any problem. Nice clearance there, but good attacking move from the local Black Stars. And I love the way Latif was brought into the game, picked up nicely there by Asante. The cross came in and the header that was a nice defensive header there Latif did well with his speed and then wet the cross also but it was an excellent defending there from Usman Makarimi that's the left back for Benny Shili Mohamed, Michael Akufu and Tuflos Anoba were on the 18 yard box Jojo, oh, good piece of work there. And this is Luis Irike, who was so much in a hurry to get that ball into the area. He could have taken his time, but that was a nice piece of skills there from the club African winger, Jodel Dosu. He did well with his run before bringing in Ireke, Luis Agohuno. trying to make sure that they get some slick passing movement just in the middle going for them. 